characters Neha, a little girl, her mother, narrator, the one who narrates the story. Off goes the alarm clock at 6 in the morning. Neha makes a face and covering her ears with a pillow, snuggles under the warm blanket. But she knows she has to get up. Oh ho! This alarm clock always rings at 6 and pulls me out of the bed. It's so unfair. If it rings like this, how I would love to sleep a little longer in the morning. I wish this clock would forget its job sometimes. The alarm clock is falling. Ha ha! My clock has fallen. I feel very happy. From tomorrow, I can get up late. Next morning, there is no alarm. So, Neha sleeps and sleeps. The small chirpy birds which come to the windowsill every morning find Neha still sleeping. Wake up, dear. Wake up fast. Neha gets up with the start. Oh no! First the alarm disturbed me and now these birds. Why don't they leave me alone? Even this wish of Neha comes true. The next morning there is not only no alarm clock, there are no birds either. But there is someone else who does not want her to miss the school bus. Can you guess who it is? Yes, it's the big bright sun. He fills Neha's room with a warm smile. Oh, my eyes. Now it's the sun waking me up. Why can't he allow me to sleep? Even this wish of Neha come true. Next morning, the sun is behind the clouds. So, Neha snores till she heard her mother's voice. Neha dear, wake up soon. Wake up soon my sleepy head. You will miss the bus. Oh no mom, why are you waking me up? There is no escape now. Neha gets up and gets ready. Can you imagine what happens the next day? Neha wakes up with a start. Her watch says it is 6 o'clock. She calls her mom. Ma, Ma, who woke me up today? <laughs> who else, my dear? It's you, of course. But Ma, I was sleeping. How could I? Let me clarify, Neha. Tell me, why do you eat your lunch every day at 1 in the afternoon? I feel hungry. Okay. Why do you sleep at 9 every night? Because I feel sleepy. Yes. There is a clock inside you which tells you when to eat, when to sleep and when to wake up. Oh, oh I better rush now. I don't want to miss the bus. Relax. Relax, dear. Today is Sunday. My dear kids, Neha realized the clock inside her. Let us realize the clock inside us. Thank you. Hello everyone. I am very glad meeting you all again. We all know that puppetry is a wonderful teaching learning material and strategy. Today I am going to share the benefits of story narration through puppetry. Both the topics are closely related and it plays a vital role in enriching the language development. Story narration through puppetry is a great resource for language development and also it engages the students with the language and themes. Narrating a story through puppetry builds confidence. It gives chance to think in someone else's perspective. It gives chance for improvising the story. It develops critical thinking. It develops respect for others. 
it develops respect for culture and other culture too this process creates interest in language learning and increases the proficiency of language it pays way to manipulate language in a creative manner and also acts as a meaningful input where children receive the comprehensible input that is for language in chunks in context this help them internalize the vocabulary and structures meaningfully and also it supports the kids to acquire the language naturally it stimulates the brain cells to a new experience and make the children participate actively and interactively it encourages the kids to create and construct their own knowledge hence puppetry is a great resource to maximize the interest on language learning so i have chosen puppetry for my classrooms and as a teacher i would like you all to experience the essence of puppetry it will work for you too thank you